Looks like this forward base has gone through a major dust storm. Uh-oh. Better bring out the dust brushes. Uh, now it is your job to fix it up and prepare it for the first colonist. Yay, we get colonists. In this tutorial, you will learn how to handle power, life support grids, and building maintenance, as well as how to construct your first dome. Does it come with Poly Shore? First things first. Man, that's a dated Let's reference. Let's remove some unnecessary structures. Oh, that's rude. You don't have to say it so loud they can hear you. The concrete extractor has depleted its deposit and will be of no use now. We can salvage some construction materials from it. Deleted. Now, let's get that drone hub operational. We need to supply the drone hub with power, the resources from the salvaged concrete extract. Okay, cool. Uh, construct a solar panel to power the drone hub. Uh, place the solar panel next to the existing cables to connect it to the same power network as the drone hub. Okay, so it's already telling me where to put it in. Large solar panel, and we can rotate like, oh, that's nice. You can make it like fit just right. Boop. Or boop. Nope. Boop. Uh, yep. Okay. We just gotta wait on them to build it. I'm like, okay, what's wrong? I forgot about the little, the little Roomba's gotta do the work. We cool. have some power, but it's not enough. We should prioritize the drone hub. All right, you can change the priority of buildings manually. I saw that earlier, actually. So we need to here, boom. Raise the priority. Cool. We can use the machine parts left from the concrete extractor to build a wind turbine. Uh, wind turbines are a good alternative to solar po uh, panels as they operate day and night. They also get bonus power production if built on high ground. However, wind turbines have high upkeep cost and require maintenance more than solar panels. Okay, got it. Well, then why would I want to buy it? I don't, I don't want more high upkeep in my life. All right, now we wait on them to build that. Even with the wind turbine, there won't be enough electricity <sighs> to power the base, especially during the night. All right, fine. Solar panels provide power only during the day, and we don't have accumulators to compensate at night. You can set some of the base buildings to automatically turn off at night using the building's shifts. There are three shifts. First shift, second shift, and night shift. Buildings will require power, resources, and workers only during their active shifts. So click here. Ah. It's weird to me that they didn't give these different symbols. Like I have to hover over it to see that it's first, second, and third shift. I mean, obviously it kind of makes sense. Or night shift. But still. You managed to get things operational, but this won't last as buildings require maintenance and we are out of resources. Building requires, buildings require maintenance with resources roughly every six or seven souls. Uh, buildings that don't, wait. Buildings require maintenance with resources roughly every six, okay, so about, about once a week. Buildings that don't get maintenance break. Buildings that go don't get maintenance break and won't function until repaired. I can read. The sh uh, to showcase this, we have simulated a breakdown of your solar panel, thanks. Drones will automatically repair this broken, uh, this breakdown provided that there are metals in range of their controller. Select the solar panel to view the information about its maintenance breakdown. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. This is, they're doing it. This is just for me to see data information on it. Got it. Thank you, DJ Roomba. We need more metals to secure this base. 
use the RC transport to collect some metals and transport them back. Okay, use it to gather 20, 30 metals and bring them back to the base. You can use these metals. Okay, so, uh, should I do it the smart way and do the little thingy? Load resources. Uh, I'm just going to say all. Even though I guess I only need metals, but that's okay. No, hey, let's do it right. Let's do it right. Boom. Mm, metals. Oh, I just realized. It's the the text alternates up, down, up, down, up, down. Resources I don't know that I like down. that. Don't know that I like that at all. Cool. So we'll have him get going that. I love how you can set up these paths that they can utilize to uh, just keep repeating the same thing over and over again. There's a word I'm looking for there. Oh, I haven't found it. I'll let you know when I do. <laughs> I'll draw a picture and put it on some milk cartons. Missing word. Please contact owner. Almost done. Cool. Good job. However, Thanks. we need more than just metals. Fortunately, we can call a resupply rocket from Earth. Oh, using rockets to resupply from Earth is the best way to secure resources early on. You'll need funding to buy the resources, but your sponsor usually will provide you with enough to get a basic colony up and running. So, uh, resupply. Request a new cargo or passenger rocket from Earth. Cool, look at the Earth! Look, it's us, somewhere. Um, oh, or, oh, you have to order specific things. I thought it was just kind of, uh, you know, hey, send us that care package. So we want 20 polymers. 20 machine parts. Oh, I see. And our funding goes down as we buy it. Okay. And electronics. It's weird that it's... 7,960 million. So that's 7 billion 960 million. That's really confusing. You should just put 7.96 B. Let's do some cleaning up around the base while we wait for the rocket to arrive. All right, the remains of destroyed or salvaged buildings will obstruct other constructions. To clear such ruins, you'll need to research, research the decommissioned protocol technology in the engineering field. For the purpose of this simulation, we have provided you with this tech. Oh, gee, thanks. Clear. Cool. Any others? Is that it? Poof. Now, let's remove some of the unnecessary cables. Okay. Uh, so what do I do? Click on it. Open the build menu. Salvage. Cool. Wait for the arrival of the rocket, then land it near the base. Remember, you can speed up time. Yeah, I've got time sped up. You don't have to remind me of that. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Ready to land. Fantastic. Um, I'm guessing, like, here would be good. Aw, all the Roombas turn their... Uh-oh, Roombas, you need to move. You need to move. Move, Roombas. Move! The supplies from Earth have arrived, and we can use them to expand the base. What about the lost Roombas? Uh, let's start with a power accumulator. It allows you to store power for nighttime or emergencies. Great. Keep in mind that accumulators have a capped maximum output, so a single one may not be enough to build or to power all buildings at night. Construct a power accumulator and connect it to the power grid. Poor little Roombas. Poor little guys. Um, Alright, so we got power grid right here. So, build power. Power accumulator. 
All right, so it's two grids, two hexes. Water is essential for a sustainable Martian colony. Really? Fortunately, there is a water deposit nearby. Good. Let us build a water extractor near the deposit. All extractors must be placed near a deposit or the corresponding of the corresponding type. Remember to then connect it to, uh, with power. You may also have to build more power producers to generate the required power. Use the build menu to construct a water extractor near the water deposit. Then power it up. Power it up. Connect that there and connect that there. That's knee hug gets a little curve going on. The water extractor is ready, but we don't have a storage for the water it will extract. Got it. Okay, I, I understand what we're going to do here. Uh, we need a water tower. Um, I don't know if this thing... Oh, I see. Depending on where you place it, you could lose some spot. So we're just going to put it here. Actually, let's just do it up here. Well, I don't know. Let's do, let's do he here. I'm so indecisive. Just do it. Uh, pipes, pipes, pipes. Perfect. 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 Boom. That was perfect, Kyle. Time has finally come to build yes. the first dome that will house our colonists. Domes are large substructures that house colonists. You can construct many buildings inside domes. Uh, some of uh, some of them will require colonists as workforce. Domes have limited space but can be connected via passageways to form larger systems, like the underground paths in Disney. Um, remember to use the RC transport to mine metals and to call resupply rockets if you need advanced resources to finish the dome. Goal, construct a basic dome. This will take a long time, so you might wish to speed things up with the speed controls. I haven't slowed it down. Domes, basic dome, self-sufficient dome not available. Micro dome, it looks like a slice of pizza. There's a passage, okay. Can I put it wherever I want, or do I have to put it there? Whatever, do it there. Um, all right, so we're low on power there. Should I build another wind turbine? Can I do that? Is it, is it going to let me do stuff like that? Oh, good. Excellent. Uh, let's rotate you go right there. Boom. Somebody go build that. If you need additional resources, use the RC. Okay. Uh, I've already got it. Don't I have it doing metals already? Where are you? No, you're not getting metals. Oh, because metals are full. I guess. Um, I think I got all the metals. Is that metals? There's some up here, I think. Uh, metals and bring back, uh, let's just do it right here. Yeah, there's a metals up there. Uh, so what all do I need on this? Concrete, metals, and polymers. Do I have a concrete thing set up? Isn't that what I blew up over here because it was used up? There's a dumping site. Yeah, that's what I need to call in a rocket for, I guess. Uh, but hold on, let me see. Let me see, hold up. They're still bringing more, so let's hold off and wait. We may not need it. Uh, let's also go ahead and, while we're at it, build another one of them power accumulators. Accumulators. Yeah, we've got enough. I don't need to, I don't need to use the resupply. We've got tons of concrete over here. 
What you worried about? Oh, almost ready. Almost ready to welcome in Polly Shore. Cool. The dome is complete, but we have to supply it with water, power, and oxygen before we can use it. Oh. Okay, for oxygen, you'll need to construct a MOXIE, a device that extracts oxygen from the carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere. Okay. So. Connect the newly constructed... Okay, water and power. Okay, water and power I can do. That I know what to do with. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, do pop I'll do the MOXIE in a second. So I can do this. Boom. Boom. Yeah, that's it for that. Um, that's water. Then we need power. We'll just carry this on straight that away. And now let's take a look at the Moxie. Produces oxygen, not uh, no production during dust storms. Ooh, that's scary. Uh, we'll do this one up here. Uh oh. Um, oh we're low on power. Guess we need another wind turbine. Uh, wrong section, Kyle. There we go. Wrong building. Oh, you're not letting me build it. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Build a moxie. I don't know if this requires water or not. I think it might, but we're going to put it there. It might require water. It's like a filtration thing. But it, there's a pipe entrance right there for that anyhow, so... I'm guessing that's going to need power as well. Um, I don't want to interfere with the, the pipe connection, so I'm just going to do that. Good, okay. Is that one? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, It's a little confusing knowing which is going to what. You know what I mean? It's kind of funny to me that we're now technically connecting a water and oxygen pipe. Is that right? Is that working? I don't feel like that should work. Okay, so the problem now is not enough power. So now will you let me build a wind turbine? There we go. Now you will. Should I go ahead and do two? I feel like I want another power a culminator too. Well done. You have completed the simulation successfully. Dern Tootin. All right, you have learned how to handle power, water, and oxygen, as well as how to build, uh, how building maintenance works. I, I didn't really, I didn't really do a whole lot with that, but okay. Uh, you are ready to set up a basic colony, ready to accept the first human pioneers on Mars. The next tutorial deals with colonists and their needs. You can continue to it now or simply start a new game and return later when you're ready to learn more. You know what? I think I've learned enough now that next time we're just going to start a new game. I'm going to go in blind a little bit. Just, 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 just a little bit. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Adios. Goodbye.